Hi guys, so uh, I made the mistake of not fully balancing uh, or fully charging my batteries before putting on my Icebox skateboard. Now usually, I've, you know, it will balance it if it's not too far off and I wasn't uh, I wasn't too far off, but because I'm using a, such a crappy small BMS, this thing's not designed to balance uh, unbalanced batteries because it, you can see the size of the BMS uh, so the balance charge, um, you'll see it's it's like it's probably real low. I don't I don't actually have specs on this because I just had it laying around. I can't I ordered it somewhere from AliExpress, um, so it wouldn't charge beyond like seventy percent. Um, so I had to uh, get the battery pack out today, and uh, basically uh, when I first built this pack, all of this uh, the P groups. One, two, three, four. These four were fully charged, nearly fully charged, like 4.1 volts, 4.2 volts, near 4.2 volts. Um, all of these are uh, new cells that I bought, and they were at like 3.6 volts. So I, I charged them to like near like 3.8, and I got too impatient, and I just put it together. I thought the, the BMS would charge. It's been like a week, and it, it wouldn't balance charge because the BMS... Uh, the smaller ones, especially like this, are not designed to balance super unbalanced batteries. So the best best thing you can do, if you're using El Cheapo BMS like I, I am, um, you want to make sure all the batteries are the same voltage. It doesn't have to be fully charged, but they're all balanced. All right? If it's all balanced, then even small BMS will balance it fine. Uh, but because it's such a small BMS and because... Um, my batteries weren't balanced it it's just never balanced uh, you won't have problems with some bigger ones but this is like a tiny BMS I'm using um so I'm manually balancing them to 4.1 volts um just because to keep it safe if you go over 4.2 volts um, you know it's, it's just not good for the battery you can explode and whatnot so just to keep it safe I'm gonna um, balance them all to 4.1 volts now I don't have to um, charge these um, the P groups separately because the reason is that they, they were these were all balanced the eight of them one two three four five six. these these eight P groups were balanced and these groups are also balanced so I have the leads going from the negative to the positive this is actually the, the negative of the this here so I'm balanced charging them it's almost there if it gets to 32.8 volts that means all these uh, batteries will be at uh, 4.1 volt and I do have a I'm gonna actually measure out uh, Sorry, I can't do this with one hand. I don't, don't want to short anything, but I measure them. They're all actually the same voltage um, So I'll double check that and then next I'm gonna go ahead and move uh, move this wire To here to charge this these guys to the same voltage for 4.1 volts for each P group uh, Once that's done. I'll have pretty much like almost 90 over 95 percent capacity uh, once it's balanced then you're good to go. These BMSs, especially the ones you use for electric skateboards, they're not really smart. They're just like the minimal um, balance charge. So if you start with balanced batteries and um, you always charge your batteries to full, you'll be fine. Uh, you don't need to use expensive ones. Um, if you leave your house for like six months and your battery starts depleting, then you might have to manually rebalance again if you're using crappy BMS like this. Uh, I just don't want to take everything out. I mean, I know that it's if it's fully charged, uh, if it's fully balanced and fully charged, the battery will um, keep balancing even with a small BMS like this. Um, yeah, so I just want to give you that. And if you have a dead battery, same thing could happen. You can open it up and uh, it, it might not be dead. What happens is with these cheaper BMSs, like, you know, all the, all the skateboards you buy nowadays, um, they usually have pretty cheap BMS. Not cheap BMS, but they're just not designed um, to balance unbalanced batteries. And if you don't charge your battery for a while, some of the P groups might go below, some of the cells might go below like 3.2 volts, for example. And then the BMS will not ch charge um, those cells because it's that's like a safety feature. If that happens to you, if, if your voltage is like, you know, you, if you still have voltage, um, then you can try opening it up. And instead of unsoldering everything, I just made some holes here and just oh, just solder in your plus minus, um, hook it up to power supply and, you know, restore those cells 
back to a uh, mere 4.2 4 volts, 4.1 volts. And then your BMS will uh, work again, start working again and charge your batteries. Anyway, just give you a quick tip on how to manually balance your batteries. Um, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm, I just got to get to 32.8. Uh, this is a really good power supply. I really like it. Um, check it out. Have a great day.